Hi, I'm Rich Brown, Senior Editor for CNET.com. And despite this desktop here in front of me, today we're actually going to talk about Microsoft's new Touch Mouse. So what's kind of cool about this product is that it works just like a regular mouse. It's wireless. Uh, it has an optical sensor here at the bottom. Uh, but this whole front surface is actually one big touch sensor. Now this is designed to be a Windows 7 mouse. That's because the sensor area here works with Windows 7's touch software. So in addition to using like standard left and right clicks of this mouse, you can also use gesture-based input in order to give you sort of a more natural feel in controlling the screen. Now the mouse comes with a small micro USB input, pops out of the bottom like that. So the mouse works pretty much as expected. You can click the select items or double click to launch applications as normal. But the mouse really starts to shine when you start using applications. One of the first features of the mouse is forward and back sensing. So if you run your thumb along the side here, you can navigate back and forth between web pages. Now with two finger input, you can actually control the application position on the screen. So if I drag two fingers down in the mouse, the screen will minimize. Drag them up, it expands. If you use two fingers going to the left, it aligns the application window according to Windows 7 snap assignment. Of course, the same works when you go to the right. So three finger input gives you a macro view of all the apps you have open. You can see if we drag up, you get all three browsers and you can navigate to the one you want. Or, if you go back to that view, you can drag down to make them all disappear. Same thing again if you're in an application. All three fingers drags it back down. So that's really the basic functionality of the Microsoft Touch Mouse. It's actually an expensive little device too. It goes for about 70 or 80 bucks uh, at pre-order from various sites online uh, and it should hit the market in the beginning of September. Now while none of those features we showed you are completely revolutionary, they do feel natural for the most part. The most awkward one is the thumb motion because you have to sort of tuck your thumb in to go up and down and it's a little bit weird. We'd probably prefer hard forward and back buttons like you get on uh, most mice these days. But minimizing and maximizing windows and moving them from left to right on the screen really does feel pretty intuitive. We can see using that feature regularly if we had a Windows 7 system and this mouse. We should also add that Microsoft has Windows 8 coming out next year. Previews of that operating system have shown a high reliance on touch input. We expect that's going to mostly focus on tablets and portable devices. But that said, we can see a touch mouse like this actually having a pretty good benefit there. You probably wouldn't want to spend 80 bucks on this mouse, though, if you knew it wasn't going to work with Windows 8. When we asked Microsoft about it, it wouldn't really commit to anything regarding Windows 8 support, only that you can probably expect that there will be some extendability. So overall, while this is an expensive little device, it is pretty intuitive. You don't have to learn a whole new touch-based gesture language in order to take advantage of it. So that's how we can recommend this thing, particularly for people who are interested in experimenting with touch input on the desktop. So I'm Rich Brown, this is the Microsoft Touch Mouse.